everyone, it's Dave, and we are back with our next reading of the New Testament. If you've been following along, you know that we are in the book of Acts, and we're about to start chapter 12, all right? So uh, we'll be reading out of the New King James Version. Hopefully you all can hear me okay today. It is a bit windy, as you can tell from the flag flying there, but um, I'll, I'll try and speak up, that way you all can hear me. Uh, so today's reading is going to talk about Herod's violence to the church. Peter freed from prison, and Herod's violent death, and then ends with Barnabas and Saul appointed. Uh, we have a total of 25 verses today. So, as always, if you don't have a Bible, remember that you can go to Bible.com and read for free, or you can download the YouVersion app. Um, I'll mention it down below so you know exactly how to spell it. Um, on your Android or iOS device. Um, and then if you enjoy this video, uh, we would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Um, per the analytics, it shows that um, a lot of our viewers actually aren't subscribers. So if you would subscribe, that would greatly help our channel and um, we would appreciate that. But the biggest thing, of course, that we ask you to do is to share this video. Um, help us reach the world with the gospel of Christ. That is our biggest goal. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some of the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread, so when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the doors were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise, quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garments and follow me. So he went out and followed him, and did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and second guard posts, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed with from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angel, and has delivered me from the hand of Herod, and from the expectation of the Jewish people. So when he had considered this, he came to my house, came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And Peter knocked at the door of the gate. A girl named Rhoda came to answer. When she recognized Peter's voice because of her gladness, she did not open the gate, but ran in and announced that Peter stood before the gate. But they said to her, You are beside yourself. Yet she kept insisting that it was so. So they said, It is his angel. Now Peter continued knocking. Could you imagine? Hey, let me in, guys. <laughs> and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But motioning to them with his hand to keep silent, he declared to them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. And he said, Go tell these things to James and to the brethren. And he departed and went to another place. Then as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers about what had become of Peter. But when Herod had searched for him and not found him, he examined the guards and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. Now Herod had been very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon, but they came to him with one accord, and having made a Blastus, the king's and having made Blastus, the king's personal aid, their friend, they asked for peace, because their country was supplied with the food by the king's country. So on a set day Herod arrayed in royal apparel, sat on his throne, and gave an or oration to them. And the people kept shouting, The voice of God the voice of a god, not of a man. Then immediately an angel of the Lord struck him, and because he did not give glory to God, and he was eaten by worms and died. 
but the word of God grew and multiplied. Sorry I messed that section up a little bit. My tongue was getting tied. Um, but uh, just to recap, basically, the people were saying that Herod was a god and not a man. And God didn't really appreciate that very much. So, um, uh, struck him dead. So that's the, that's the, the, uh, the Cliff Notes version of, of that passage. <laughs> And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled the ministry, and they also took with them John, whose surname was Mark. All right, that concludes chapter 12 um, of the book of Acts. Uh, next is chapter 13, obviously, and it looks like there will be 52 verses on that one, so a little bit longer reading tomorrow. Um, I really do hope that you all are enjoying these. I appreciate the comments. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the support. Those of you that support the channel, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, like I said, I started this this journey out more um, accountability for me. I can say that you know, having grown up in the church and went to church, you know, three four times a week um, until I was about 17 years old. I've never read. I've never read the Bible from. I've never read the whole Bible. There's stuff that I'm finding in here that I never knew about. Passages that either I wasn't listening in church or it just didn't cover. You know. So um, I'm learning so much, and I, I hope that it helps you. Um, that's the, the the you know the second piece of it um, is that. I'm able to, by, by me going through this journey myself, that I'm able to help you all. And I hope that's the case. All right. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. I do love you all. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a, what day is today? Tuesday. Hope you guys have a blessed Tuesday. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this. He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.